Okay guys, so it's been a while. How's it going? Hopefully good. Uh, I'm gonna do some crafting today. Oh boy, exciting times. Patch notes just hit for Metamorph League. I'm excited. I have still been playing the game somewhat, sorry, excuse me. Between my last upload like a year ago and now, I have been playing not a ton a ton, but definitely playing every league. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna craft for the upcoming patch. Which means we're going to do 1,000 Jagged Fossils first into Vol Axes because they're removing that Fortify support, the Endurance Charge on Melee Stun support, the Onslaught support. Onslaught's pretty trash, but Fortify and Endurance Charge on Melee Stun are both great supports. They're removing them. Might as well try to craft some. It's obviously, because there's so many fossils, we'll skip through and I'll only highlight the good hits. Maybe if I do some adding prefix, remove suffix through beast crafting, some slamming. We'll see how it goes. It should just be fun, so let's go ahead and get into it. And yeah, I'll cut to the good the good hits, and we'll go from there. Why am I using just Jagged Fossils? I'm using just Jagged Fossils because it's more cost efficient. In my previous videos long ago, I would use the triple combo because it was better. And it still is better, but it's just not cost efficient. Fossils have gone way up in price since I played in Delve. Obviously, everybody was farming them, and it was a lot easier to get them, so you might as well do the triple combo. Nowadays, it's just more cost efficient to do a single Jagged Fossil, and the results are still okay. Endurance Charge on Melee Stun with a good hybrid, bad prefix though. Uh, it's tier 4, tier 2. We could try to annul off the lightning damage and then uh, add a prefix, remove a suffix, which is a beast craft, which would guarantee you a prefix on the slam. So I'll do it just to show. Let's see here. So we did not get rid of the lightning damage, we got rid of a suffix, but we can still go again. And we did get rid of the lightning damage, so what we can do now is add a suffix. So let's say dex, right? So we'll add on some dex, ta-da. And now, this is a lot cheaper than a exalt. What you do is you go to your menagerie here. And I believe it's a ferrex wolf or lynx alpha, so add a prefix. It's a ferrex, ferrex wolf alpha. Remove a suffix, go ahead, craft that on. And it's going to take off the decks and then it's going to slam, in essence, the final prefix. So let's see what we get. Pretty much has to be Fizz. We hit cold damage. We can now try to annul again. It's a never ending process, but hey, why not? It's fun. Until we kill the item, we got it again. So now we go decks. The odds are low, um, but it's fun to do. It's fairly inexpensive compared to using exalts. Annuls are a little pricey. The beast itself, whoops, I forgot the axe. The beast itself is only like, wait, where is the X? Oh, I put it down here. I lost the X, it's in the bench, there we go, okay. Um, what was I saying, the beast itself, they're only like 20 chaos, so the whole process is, you know, like 60 chaos and, and exalt is worth about 180, so a third the cost, and uh, you guarantee the prefix slam, so pretty nice, pretty nice. Also, I saw Tornado Shot got nerfed, but not nearly enough. It's just the secondary projectile proj speed, so you can just scale a little bit more proj speed, and it will be fine. We hit cold damage, back to the hideout. Annul, this is gonna be costly. And it's dead, so I don't wanna, you know, that's obviously, that's dead, so moving on. Uh, fortify. Ah, Gleaming, that's a bummer. It has that culling suffix plus weapon range. Maybe we'll try to annul this one a few times. That's why the physical damage looks so impressive. All right, this All right let's annul this. So we want to get rid of a suffix or the, the flat fizz. Oh, we got rid of the wrong suffix. I will stop now because it's not, it's not worth it. Not worth it anymore. All right, so tier one flaring, which is even bigger now with attack speed and horrible increased fizz. But uh, first time I'm seeing flaring, so that's nice. They buffed the flaring roll a while back. It's a lot bigger now, which is which is nice. Makes two-handers a little bit, you know, a little bit chunkier. Get to see some actual 1,000 DPS weapons rolling out, which is pretty awesome. Onslaught with flaring? No. If that was fortify with flaring, and you can craft a prefix on there too. Oh, that's such a bummer. Um. Yeah, that's not worth it. We could... Oh, we could add a prefix, remove a suffix, I suppose, just for fun. I took my weapons off so I could press Alt and wouldn't have my weapons pop up, so we'll just go do that real quick. Just for fun, why not? Maybe you get lucky, hit T1 hybrid. I can dream, right? 
add a prefix, remove a suffix. Oops. Yeah. We did hit hybrid. Wow. Okay. We hit tier 5 hybrid, which puts this at 549 DPS with onslaught, no attack speed. I mean, let's keep it for now, right? It's uh, it's not bad. It's not good because it's onslaught, and onslaught's not sought after. But it is technically going to get nerfed, and at this point, I mean, I, I have all these jagged's. I might as well, you know, just crank out as many okay items as I can, and then move to the next item. So let's just move to the next item. Endurance charge on melee stun with temper tier two. This is a pretty good axe, actually. The hybrid is low, but it's currently sitting at 500 DPS without attack speed, which is really nice. Uh, the flat fizz is not divined very well, so it could go pretty high. Let's go ahead and annul. And if I can take a suffix off, I will probably keep. If I take a prefix, we'll go from there. Well, I took off E2 flat fizz. I mean... Oh, I could beastcraft it, but nope, it's not good enough, so moving on. No! <laughs> if that fire damage was fizz damage, flaming, which is ironically one, one letter off from flaring and is the exact same tier, like it looks like the same tier. If that was flaring, that'd be a really nice axe, but crit chance and intimidate? Oh. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's annul it. Let's make it a nice axe. First step, get rid of fire damage. Okay, good. Next step, add dex. And third step, we're just going to straight up slam it because those two sucks are good. And we're going to hit flaring. Uh, please hold. And now we're going to remove. And then we're going to annul. And then we're going to regret. Moved. What did I remove? I removed a suffix. What was it? Intimidate and 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 I can't even remember what it was, honestly. <laughs> what was the other suffix? <laughs> I can't even remember. Uh, intimidate and it was something good. What was it? Okay, so I removed crit chance. So now we're gonna annul off leech. Now we're gonna move on with our lives and pretend that never even happened. Ooh, look at this. Endurance charge on melee stun with tier 6. Eh, not as good as I thought. Really good rolls on both of them. In fact, perfect in one off. 167. Dare I annul? Eh. I mean, I could. Why not? It's fun, right? Let's do it. For some reason, I'm actually selling these now. I don't know why. Maybe it's for the sweet art. Who knows? Let's annul this. Thank you very much, and be gone, leech. Yep, that's about what I expected. Moving on. Okay, this is gonna. Oh yes, check it out. Okay, so flaring with. I mean, it's the the lowest tier fortify, but still intimidate and then AOE suffix. So you'd want to craft on. I mean, you could multi. You could scrub the suffixes multi mod. Or you could just craft on attack speed and quality. That's a pretty nice axe. 447. Oh, I wish the fizz was higher, but... Eh, what are you going to do? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a low roll. It will divine up. It'll be over 500 with fortify. I, I mean, the more I'm looking at it, the less I'm liking it. So let's just set it to the side. It's a good enough axe. It's going gonna, it's gonna to not exist anymore in a week. So let's keep it for now. And any of these that I should kill? I think these are all pretty okay. 481, 447, 549 with Onslaught, eh. Okay, well that, that concludes tab 1, so that was 424, I think, Resonators. And this is 576, I believe, so we're about halfway through, a little, a little less than halfway. I'm going to switch up the bases for fun. I think I have like a Flesh Ripper. Uh, yeah, we have a Flesh Ripper. We have some bows we could throw in here. I don't know if any of them are 30 quality. Now that you can uh, use the bench, obviously it's not as big of a deal, but we have an exquisite blade. That, that's, a, that's a nice one. They're harder to craft than axes, but maybe I'll throw a few on there. Uh, let's just, let's do one of each, one of each. Let's, let's mix it up. Iron grip, low fizz. Iron grip's not quite as good. Still good, but 
not as good as Vicious Proj, obviously, and then not, oh, Faster Proj, I was just going to say, and not as good as fra Faster Proj, it might be a little bit better with the T-Shot nerf. Ah, uh, this one's pretty good, honestly. It's currently sitting at 346, if you throw an attack speed, it'd be close to 400. I mean, again, this is going to go in the same vein as this Fall Axe, it's not very good, but because it's getting nerfed, we have limited time, we might as well keep it. Let's move on to the... Oh, this is going to be a scary one. Exquisite Blade, I'm going to be very conservative with this one. Um, if I don't hit in, say, like a couple hundred, I'm just going to move on. Because it's a lot harder to hit. So we're just going to, you know, we're just going to see. Well, there's Fortify right away with a Neil Tier 4. Uh, we could, we could Beast Craft this one, why not? See if we can hit a hybrid. If I put my weapon on. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. And I don't really want to save a suffix, so... I'm not going to craft decks or anything on there. I put you out of your misery. It's a tanky boy. Alright. Let's see what we hit. We hit lightning damage. Can annul once more. And eh, this is questionable if it's even worth it. Eh, we actually did get rid of it, so one more try. The Beastcraft is so cheap, you might as well. Lightning damage again. Uh, I guess one out of three this time. Ah, I saved it. Okay. This thing's hanging in there. I mean, we could keep this as is and multi-mod it out. It wouldn't even be bad, to be honest, but I'm actually just going to keep this because ugh, it's basically a clean base. It's not very good, but it's good enough, and that's where I'm at right now with crafting these. If it's good enough, we're keeping it. When things get nerfed, you can't uh, you can't hold out. You just got to move on to the next. Ooh, this is pretty good. Um, took me a second, so level 18 fortify. With tier 3 and reavers, this is a pretty nice one. This is definitely a good keep. Currently sitting at 463 without attack speed, and it can be divined up a little bit. That's definitely a, a good keep. That's a keeper of an axe, so nice. Um, So this one is very good, actually. I might multi-mod this bow out. Let's pull up POB and see what it's going to look like. So it's tier 2 hybrid, tier 2 uh, flat fizz should be a pretty fat bow. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull up POB here. 13. And, I mean, quality. So you'd say, like, this bow is going to have, if we use the syndicate and we do quality crit, it's going to have about 42 quality. Though it's going to be a 500 DPS bow. So, yeah, let's keep that. 500 DPS bow is, is very good once multi modded out. So, I was just looking to buy a flesh ripper and I just straight up found this guy, posted his flesh ripper. For three exalts, 30 quality, six linked. It's six linked too with Fortify mod. I have absolutely no idea why, but I'll take it. All right, so we've got a Volax and a Flesh Ripper. Let's go ahead and round out this uh, this crafting session. Whoops, it's been pretty good so far. I cannot complain. Not uh, not too crazy, but I wasn't expecting anything too crazy. Ooh, this is pretty crazy. Speaking of. Open prefix as well. Hmm. Well, what could I do here? That's pretty nice. I could. I could just craft attack speed, call it good, but. Open prefix. Ah. Uh, I mean, I could do. I could take the 50 50 and add a prefix, remove a suffix, or I could block a suffix, slam a prefix. Oh, let's block a suffix because you don't need to go crit, honestly. So let's go ahead and let's block any suffix. Doesn't matter. I always block decks because I'm used to it from meta crafting. And hybrid. Oh, we hit hybrid, dude. This is a sick axe. Okay, so whoops. Hello. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's a it's only a tier six hybrid. Okay, I should calm down. It's pretty bad, but with the uh, suffix, this is gonna be a pretty juicy item. Let's go ahead and hit it with a divine or two here. Uh, let's get it up a little bit more here. 
224.53. That's decent. Eh, let's get the flat higher. 24.53. Rip my divines. 28.47. 29.46. Oh, why am I doing this? 23.47. 22.53. What do I want? Like 25.53. That's what I want, minimum. 30.48. That's pretty okay, I guess. 30, 48. 48 is kind of low. I probably already rolled over something better. I don't know. 24, 47. Keep going. 30, 47. I'm just lost at this point. 25, 51. Higher, please. Probably spent more than it's worth. 26, 56. That's pretty good. That's going to be as good as it gets five. I gained like 10 DPS. I probably used like, I don't even know. And if we put on attack speed and quality, uh, 16, 18, 13, 18, still almost 700 DPS with uh, endurance charge, which is a more multiplier. That's pretty good. 700 DPS. I, I could <coughs> craft for higher, but for now, I'm just going to stop. I mean, higher attack speed, that is. That's a, that's probably the best weapon yet. Nice. All right, Flesh Ripper, moving on. Whoa, look at this axe, my friends. Oh, it even has an open prefix. That's so weird. So what I'm going to want to do on this one is beastcraft it, I'm pretty sure. Because it's the suffix fizz mod. Tier 2, Endurance Charge of Melee Sun. This is a really nice axe. Uh, oh, this sucks, though, because you need attack speed. And this is a nice axe. Uh, yeah, I think the best move here is to add prefix, remove suffix. Because then you guarantee that you keep the Endurance Charge of Melee Stun, the T2 flat. And you have a 1 out of 3 of taking off that, uh, that fizz damage. So... Let's go ahead and do that. That's the best move here. Worst case scenario, we rip off the suffix fizz damage. Best case scenario, we rip off the cause bleeding on hit and keep the multi. Okay, moment of truth. Best possible outcome would be T1 hybrid. It would actually be an insane axe. Like, it would actually be so good then. And we remove the bleeding. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's just do it. Add a prefix, remove a random suffix. Uh, I my guess is I'm gonna hit lightning damage tier seven, and I'm gonna rip off the uh, the hybrid phase. Yep, thinking positive now. If my expectations are low, I can only be surprised, right? 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 <sighs> well, I did rip off the suffix, but it was actually, uh, looks like tier 10 cold. Oof, that's pretty good. So now, question is, do I annul it? Or do I just craft attack speed and call it a day? Let's ruin a nice item, shall we? Oh, nice. Okay, so... I'll probably leave it for now. It's pretty good. Uh, I could, oh, I could add another prefix to it. Yeah, let's just slam a prefix. And honestly, no point in removing a suffix. So let's just block. I mean, besides, uh, oops, besides saving money, obviously. But uh, let's just block uh, any random suffix. And hybrid one time. We hit leech. Which is bad, obviously. I, I mean, I'm gonna ruin it. Let's just stop. Stop while I'm ahead. Well, that's a pretty good hybrid. Uh, 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 uh. We could either add a prefix, remove a suffix, or annul a suffix op and multi mod. Let's take a look at what this would be. DPS-wise, if we added physical damage, uh, 129, and some attack speed on there. Uh, it'd be close to 500 damage. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's just keep. That's a good bow. 500 damage bow is good. Dude, I just did my whole outro and I wasn't even recording. I love it. Anyways, don't worry. You missed out on absolutely nothing. I used the remainder of the jagged on this uh, blade here. No luck. Uh, I'm just going to recap what we got out of 1,000 jagged fossils. We hit this mediocre sword. It's kind of it's kind of bad, I'm not going to lie, but it's something. Two Flesh Rippers, so this Flesh Ripper here is an Endurance Charge on Melee Stun with T2 Flat Fizz, pretty solid. Overall, no prefix to go with that, but eh, what are you going to do? This one's a Fortify with T3 Flat Fizz, this one's a bit nicer, definitely a nicer one. Uh, we hit a few bows, so these bows, multi-modded out, are going to be about 500 DPS. This bow is also close to 500, and this is just a nice faster proj bow. Onto the Vault Axes we have... Fortify Axe, uh, another Fortify Axe, these ones are similar, about a little over 500, close to 600 with attack speed if I'm lucky. This Axe here is an Onslaught Axe, but it rolled very well, and this is definitely the best craft of the session. This is an Endurance Charge on Melee Stun Axe. It's about at, it's uh, it's almost 700 DPS if you got that attack speed up a little bit, but yeah, this is a, this is a super nice Axe. Nurse charge on, charge on melee stun is not nearly as good as fortify, as it doesn't provide both defense and offense, but it is a more multiplier if you can generate those endurance charges, so it's still a pretty insane weapon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, one year from now. Just kidding. Posted on Reddit, dude. My biggest trade ever. No, he's wearing item size gear. Yikes. <laughs> Probably has the amulet, dude, I bet. What, does, what else is uh, the chest, right? Chest, the jewels. What you? Oh, yeah, Emperor's shit. Yeah, jewels. I mean, those are probably the cheapest thing, right? And they're like 10x. He hasn't accepted yet. I almost got the 10 sets, dude. I just need a few more greens. Nice. Le 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 What's up? Nothing. Actually, no, I am. No, I'm not.